Question 1 of this exercise says, which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions? In case there is a unique solution, find it by using the cross multiplication method. So let's start with the first part. In the first part, the pair of linear equations is x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0 and 3x minus 9y minus 2 equal to 0. So the coefficients of x are 1 and 3. So a1 by a2 is 1 by 3. The coefficients of y are minus 3 and minus 9. So b1 by b2 is minus 3 by minus 9. That's 1 by 3. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. And hence we need to check c1 by c2. Now c1 is minus 3 and c2 is minus 2. So minus 3 by minus 2 is 3 by 2, which is not equal to 1 by 3. So we have the situation where a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 are equal but these two ratios are not equal to c1 by c2 and this means that these two lines represent a pair of parallel lines which never intersect. In other words, this pair of equations has no solution. So let's write it here. The first In the first part, the pair of equations has no solution. Now let's go to part 2. In part 2, the pair of equations is 2x plus y equal to 5 or let me write it in the standard form 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y equal to 8 or 3x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0. So let's first check whether this pair has a unique solution or no solution or infinitely many solutions. So the coefficients of x are 2 and 3 so a1 by a2 is 2 by 3 the coefficients of y are 1 and 2 so b1 by b2 is 1 by 2 and we find that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 and hence we don't need to check c1 by c2 we can right away say at this stage that this pair has a unique solution it has a unique solution now to find that solution we will use the cross multiplication method so in the cross multiplication method we have x y and we have 1 and then we will write the coefficients of x y and the constant terms like this so we have first b1 and b2 so that's 1 and 2 then we have c1 and c2 that's minus 5 and minus 8 and then we have a1 and a2 that's 2 and 3 and then we have b1 and b2 uh, b1 and b2 again that's 1 and 2 and now the solution will be given by x over 1 into minus 8 minus 2 into minus 5 so that's minus 8 minus minus 10 or plus 10 so x by minus 8 plus 10 is equal to y by minus 5 into 3 that's minus 15 minus minus 8 times 2 so that's plus 16 so minus 15 plus 16 and this should be equal to 1 by 2 times 2 so that's 4 minus 3 times 1 that's 3 so 4 minus 3 so this set of equalities gives us the values of x and y so we have so from here we can write x by minus x by plus 2 is equal to y by 1 is equal to 1 by 1 and now from here we can compare x by 2 equal to 1 and this gives us x equal to 2 and from here we can compare y by 1 equal to 1 which gives us y equal to 1. So the solution to this pair is x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. So let's write it here. This pair has a unique solution and the unique solution is x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. In part 3, the given pair of equations is 3x minus 5y equal to 20. So let me write it as 3x minus 5y minus 20 equal to 0 and 6x minus 10y equal to 40 or minus 40 is equal to 
0. Now let's first find the nature of this system, how many solutions it has. So first we find a1 by a2, the coefficients of x, their ratio, so that's 3 by 6, which is half in the lowest form. Then we check b1, which is minus 5, and b2 is minus 10. So b1 by b2 is minus 5 by minus 10, so that's half again. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. So now let's check c1 by c2, so c1 is minus 20 and c2 is minus 40 so c1 by c2 is minus 20 by minus 40 that's half again so all three ratios are equal and this means that this pair of equations represents identical lines coincident lines and that means that this pair has infinitely many solutions so let's write it here this pair has infinitely many solutions so that's part Three. Now in part 4 the pair of equations is x minus 3y minus 7 equal to 0 and 3x minus 3y minus 15 equal to 0. So let's first check the nature of this system. So the coefficients of x are 1 and 3 so a1 by a2 is 1 by 3. The coefficients of y are minus 3 and minus 3. So b1 by b2 is minus 3 by minus 3. So that's 1. So 1 by 3 is not equal to 1. a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. And this means that this pair has a unique, unique solution. Because a1 by b2, a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. In other words, the two lines corresponding to these equations will intersect at a unique point. Now let's find that point, let's find that solution using cross multiplication. So we have x, y and 1 and now let's write out the coefficients. So first we have b1 and b2, so minus 3 and minus 3. Then we have c1 and c2, that's minus 7 and minus 15. Then we have a1 and a2, that's 1 and 3. And then we have b1 and b2 again, that's minus 3 and minus 3. Now let's write out the solution. So the solution will be given by x by minus 3 times minus 15, that's 45, minus minus 3 times minus 7. So 45 minus 21. So this is the denominator under x. And then we have this should be equal to y by minus 7 times 3 that's minus 21 minus 15 minus minus 15 times 1 so that's plus 15 so minus 21 plus 15 and then we have 1 over 1 times minus 3 minus 3 times minus 3 so that's plus 9 so minus 3 plus 9 and let's simplify this so we we will get x by 24 is equal to y by minus 6 is equal to 1 by 6 and from this set of equalities if we compare x by 24 equal to 1 by 6 from here we will get x equal to 24 by 6 or 4 and if we compare y by minus 6 equal to 1 by 6 we will get y equal to minus 6 by 6 or minus 1. So x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 1. So the fourth pair of equations has a unique solution and the solution is x equal to 4 and y equal to minus 1. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.